Hello ladies, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Ayani May and in today's video, let's talk about gift giving etiquette. I'm sure that you notice the air smells different, the decoration is changing, and you are most likely beginning to think about gifts you want to give to your family, your friends, your colleague, and even that wonderful man or woman in your life. Please notice I said wonderful, not somebody who is just stressing you out. If this is your first time, please subscribe because I empower you through videos on femininity, etiquette, and modern elegance. You are going to find yourself growing and improving one video at a time. But if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for being a part of this community. In this video, I am going to share with you the etiquette you should observe when you're giving a gift, the etiquette you should observe when you're receiving a gift, and 15 gift ideas to get you started. Even though this video works during this holiday period, it still comes in handy later on in the future. So ladies, let's get into the video. The first etiquette you should observe when shopping for a gift, when considering a gift, is for you to be thoughtful. This is very important. Do not just buy a gift for the sake of buying a gift. You have to listen, pay attention, ask questions before making any purchase. When you pay attention to somebody, listen to them, observe, or even go back to previous conversations and chats you had with them, you are likely going to find something that they've talked about, something they have desired that you can give to them as a gift. Number two, stick to your budget. You are likely going to receive extravagant gifts from the people around you. Do not try to match the price tag of that gift, especially if you cannot afford it. A thoughtful gift that is within your budget or something you made yourself is still going to be appreciated and you're not going to go broke trying to impress someone. Bear in mind that if you overspend, you are likely going to regret it later on. So stick to your budget and on the other hand, do not be cheap when purchasing a gift. Nobody likes that. Number three, presentation matters. As much as you're shopping for gifts to give to your loved ones, you also have to think about how you want to present those gifts to them. There are so many options that you can choose from, from a wrapping paper, gift bag, and even a paper towel, depending on what type of gift it is. Make sure that you present your gift in a beautiful and lovely way. When you take the time to do this, it goes to show that you were actually thoughtful when purchasing that gift. Number four, include a handwritten note. This is always a thoughtful and warm gesture. When was the last time you received a gift that came with a handwritten note? It made you feel good. It made you feel warm and wonderful. That is the same kind of feeling you will be giving to the other person when you do this. It doesn't have to be a long epistle. Something short and sweet is enough. Just make sure that it is from your heart. And finally, do not expect anything in return. This could be expecting the other person to match the price tag of the gift you gave to them or even expecting a gift in return. There are so many reasons why someone may not be able to give you a gift immediately. It could be that they cannot afford it, they did not expect any gift from you, or it could just be that they are planning something special for you. Whatever the reason may be, do not expect a gift in return give with an open heart. If you are enjoying this video so far, please give it a thumbs up by clicking on the like button and also clicking on the bell right below so that you do not miss any new videos I upload. Now in this part of the video, I am going to share with you certain etiquettes you should observe when you receive a gift. Number one, be grateful. It doesn't matter how small that gift is or if the person was able to match the price tag of the gift you gave to them. It doesn't really matter. Truly and genuinely show your appreciation for them putting in the thought and putting in the work and even spending their resources to give you something. Number two, don't apologize for not having a gift for them. And here is why. Once you start apologizing, you are likely going to ruin the moment. Simply show your appreciation, enjoy the moment, and you can later on plan on what you can give to them in return. Number three, still say thank you even if you do not like the gift. Not everyone will be able to shop for you. Not everyone will be able to give you something that you truly, truly like. 
You have to understand this. So if you receive a gift that you really do not like, don't start mentioning the reasons why you don't like that gift. That is insensitive and impolite. Simply say thank you. And finally, send a thank you note. It could be an email, a text message, or even a proper handwritten note. But before you do this, here is my recommendation, okay? Think about how that gift was given to you and then respond in that same way. If it was a casual gift, then a, a text message or even a phone call will be okay. But if the gift was presented to you in a proper way, in a formal way, then consider a proper handwritten note. Now, this is the third part of the video where I will share with you 15 gift ideas to help you get started. I know that I am not going to be able to cover all the situation. That is why I want to hear from you too. After watching this video, share with me in the comment section all the gift ideas you believe we should all consider giving to someone special in our lives. Let's quickly run through the list. Number one, a gift hamper. This is very practical. You can purchase it in almost any supermarket right now. And it is something you can give to almost anybody on your list. Number two, a concert ticket. This is an ideal gift for somebody who enjoys this kind of activity, especially now that concerts will be popping up left, right, and center. You can consider giving a friend or even a romantic partner this kind of gift if they enjoy going to concerts. Number three, shopping gift card. <laughs> I believe every woman enjoys shopping and a gift card means you can go shop whatever you want without spending your own money. So this is an ideal gift for a friend, for even a female romantic partner. Number four, Ankara or lace material. Personally, this is what I give to my mom. It is sort of a tradition with me. I like the idea of her making it into an outfit and every time she wears it, she says a little prayer for me. This is a gift you can consider giving to your mom, your auntie, and even a friend too. Number five, Agbada material. I really don't know the proper name for this particular material. That is why I just called it a better material. So if you know the right name, please leave it in the comments. This is the material that men sew into an Agbada outfit or even the, the up and down that they normally wear. I'll leave some pictures. This is an ideal gift for your dad, for your brother, for your partner, for a male friend. And don't forget, once they make it into an outfit, they will remember you every time they wear it. Number six, wristwatch. This is ideal for almost everybody. Just make sure that it is made with good metal that will not fade over time. Number seven, hat or walking stick. The hat works for either a man or a woman. Now the walking stick has to do with age and even the person's personal style. But I believe that there are also there's still gifts that you can consider giving to your loved one. Number eight, gift voucher. This covers a whole lot of scenarios from shopping to spa day, manicure and pedicure, year-long iTunes or DSTV subscription, so many scenarios. And if there is an establishment that doesn't offer vouchers, but you still want somebody to go there and have that experience, you can simply pay for it and let your loved one know that. They can go ahead and have that experience. I really do enjoy experiences. I really do enjoy giving people experience because not everybody has had a spa day. Not everybody has been able to travel, go to a particular salon to be pampered, their hair done, their nails done. This is an experience that you can give to somebody. Number nine, clothing and shoes. With this one, you have to be careful. Only give this to somebody that you know their size, their style, and the brands they prefer to shop with. Number 10, jewelry. An ideal gift for anybody who wears jewelry, both man and woman included. Number 11, a beauty kit. This is an ideal gift for a female friend, or if you are a man watching this, your female partner. Just make sure that you know the brand she uses. Simply create a gift with skincare products, hair care, nail care, and even makeup products. Number 12, self-care kit. I personally like this one because you get to mix and match what products you put into this kit. My favorite way of presenting this gift is in a small raffia basket with assorted items like aromatherapy candles, home diffusers, a bottle of wine if the person drinks alcohol, chocolate, a good book, bubble bath soaps, and any other self-care products you can think of. Number 13, corporate gift ideas. This is the gift that you give to 
your co-worker or even your boss. Now, before you do this, make sure to check with your company to be sure that this is acceptable practice. There are a few options here. You have a fountain pen, a planner or journal, business card holder, or even a personalized mug. If you want to avoid giving a gift to only one person, then you can search for a gift that comes in a dozen or even more. This way, everybody in your office gets to have a piece. Now the next gift idea, gift for children. I believe they are the easiest to shop for because you have teddy bears, dolls, games, building blocks, writing pad, so many options. And finally, number 15. This is not a gift idea. This is a tip that I normally use when I am shopping for someone and I am going to share that with you. If after watching this video, you are still a bit unsure, here's what you can do. Go on websites like Amazon, like Jumia, Conga, and put in search terms like gifts for her, gifts for him, gifts for children, gifts for fathers, gifts for mothers, and you are going to see a whole lot of options. I prefer using Amazon because I don't mind shipping things from outside the country. And if you don't mind this, then Amazon is your best bet. Trust me, you are going to be confused because you will see so many options. Another tip is when I am shopping for a romantic partner, one of my go-to websites is Mont Blanc. They have pens, journals, ties, cufflinks, luggage, so many options. The exciting part about this is that Mont Blanc is now in Lagos, Nigeria. You can visit them at the Palms Mall in Victoria Island. Another brand that I love to shop from when shopping for a romantic partner is TM Lerwin. They have a lot of shops here in Nigeria and trust me, you are going to find something that that wonderful man in your life is going to like. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my 15 go-to ideas that will get you started. As you give and receive gifts this holiday period and even going forward, do not forget to follow proper etiquette. I hope you enjoyed this video, you learned something new. And if you did, please like, share, subscribe and also comment. As always, be kind to yourself and I will see you in the next video. Bye!